I still can't believe it. So uh, we're very sorry for your loss. But I can assure you that Francois is, is looking down on you from the big tent in the sky. Or looking up at you from the fire. What happened was no accident. I've seen him perform that trick a thousand times. We're gonna look into it for you, okay? But we, we need to know the goings on behind the scenes, right? It's important that we, we be in the mix. All up in the Kool-Aid. A kind of people traditionally don't take well to outsiders. They can be guarded. Like us with this belly button. It would be especially difficult now. Because of Francois' death, everyone is on edge. We've even had two performers quit. We just lost our master of ceremony and yodeler. Yodeler? <laughs> Terrible. But we're in a bind, so you'll have to do. You're on at seven. Don't be late. What? Good boy, son. <laughs> Come on, son. You got that. Get it. Get it. Get up in it. Do it. Got it. What? Yeah. Would you give me that? I you're gonna, got it, Sean. Can I drop it? I said I got it. You know what they say about men with long arms. Yeah, but everything else is really, really short. What? what? That's Hugo. He's the one that was supposed to catch Francois. Let's go chat him up. Oh. And this is like the fourth time Jules has called me. Hi, sweetie. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of doing my thing right now, but uh, sure. Whatever you think, Jules. Okay. All right, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Zola so said Hugo's not a big fan of character artists like us. You live back. I got this. Got it. <laughs> What's up, Circules? <laughs> I don't believe we got your name. Oh, sorry. Uh, Orenthal James Simpson? I know, I know. The folks are big fans of Hirsch Rental Car. <clears throat> Heard about the accident last week, man. That's a bummer, huh? I was right there. I still don't know what happened. I mean, we've been doing that trick forever. But the other day, he just... He didn't extend all the way. Huh. <laughs> Your psychic hunch was spot on again, Sean. This man was dead before his body was launched into the air. The broken neck and internal injuries from the fall were all post-mortem. So then what killed him? Electrocution. It wasn't obvious at first. Whoever covered this up must have kept the body on ice. Now, come over here. Come on, I want to show you something. It's not like you're going to catch necrophilopigmentosis. <laughs> Probably not. As anyone good at foreplay can tell you, electricity always leaves a mark. I know, I know, TMI, tell more information. You see, a flashlight battery and a paper clip. Uh, no right reason into... to explain, Woody. I gotta tell you, I sometimes have trouble reading social cues, especially cross-culturally. What? Yeah, it's really starting to hurt me in the dating department. I can't, I can't read alive women anymore. It's like you're strobing right now. I'm going to open an official murder investigation based on this new evidence. Right. Mm -hmm. Keep it loose. Um, Sean, are you sure you're okay with what we talked about earlier on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally cool with that. Thank you. Mm. I'll see you later. Uh, uh, Juliet, uh, you wouldn't happen to know any single females that are currently living, would you? You know what, Woody? I am going to give that some serious thought. <laughs>